I think guys, Rail Splitter is back in business. It's simply one of the best guns for range use. It's ridiculous. DPS. Oh my lord. Welcome to Insanity. Hello beautiful and amazing people, badass Dark Zone agent slash best and butcher in the building. We're welcome to my channel and another Division 2 crazy build video. Today I have for you something really really special. Rail splitter, I would say range meta build. I truly believe this gun is one of the best for range fights. It works so damn good with Vigilant. Actually, I will show you two setups today. One which works extremely well in team play and one for solo players. I know there are a lot of lone wolf bastards in the game right now, so I will cover both segments in today's video, but Jesus Christ, the rail splitter is absolutely dope with the accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. Excuse me for my French, I'm still learning brother, so please don't kill me in comment section about that. Anywho, let's get back to Rail Splitter. In my opinion, it's really really decent assault rifle, especially if you're gonna use it for long range fights, it's absolutely god tier. It's super sweet, handling is amazing, accuracy top notch. Fire rate, one of the best in the game for assault rifle class. Base damage is really decent. Unfortunately, it's really tricky to get one with good attributes. I got lucky, and quite frankly, this one is my first decent rail splitter in the game. All other ones I had previously absolutely trashy. This one will shine because it has absolutely maximum weapon damage and health damage is not that important in the game right now so I will roll maximum damage out of cover and I'm good brother. And honestly it works really nice with Vigilance but I decided to go a little sideways and made build with our great exotic chest piece, yeah. You heard me right, but before we continue, I just wanna let you know that we have some sponsored ad guys. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then leaving that night is site for you. They have absolutely amazing team on Xbox. They will complete your order twice as fast. Now everything happens with Echo and sharing this service has been working for many, many years. It has tons of customer reviews, you can check everything by yourself, but now with my promo code ERBD you will have 15% discount on all serves. It's an amazing deal, especially when right now this set supports Outriders as well. If you didn't receive my uh, discount, please contact the operator, you could message them to my link down below in the description in WhatsApp if you have any issues whatsoever, you should receive your discount and place the gear in your game. But now let's get back to one of the best rail splitter builds. Honestly, rail splitter, like I told you before, is really tricky to get one with decent attributes but once you will obtain it you will never look back just look how it shoots it's laser beam handling accuracy you don't have to work with it you don't have to catch that aim and my aim is not that great i'm still working on it so with good hands this gun can do some ridiculous damage especially on PC, I think, since a lot of players play that with Vigilance. In my opinion, Vigilance on consoles is not a good match, since most likely you will be flanked or you will receive any way damage immediately from some kind of Seeker Mind Stinger, Fire Sticky Bomb, so it will most likely will not be active for you. So I love Companion talent, but hey, Vigilance could be really, really dope as well. A couple options, for example, if you shoot from range. So, perfect synergy with Rail Splitter, or if you flank. If you are that dude who loves to flank other agents, enemies in Dark Zone or in conflict with decoys, it will be your, I think, friend number one. But uh, yeah, I think it works really well with Unbreakable and Vigilance, since it has basically super dope range, but 
I made build with tardigrade exotic chess piece and companion. Why tardigrade exotic chess piece? Well, if you're a solo player, unbreakable is really decent, but for team play, tardigrade exotic chess piece is one of the best support pieces in the game. And I'm usually running my set with 1.5 million armor, so my teammates will receive damage, not damage boost, sorry, armor boost, pretty decent. Thank you for watching all my highlights, but now let's check this amazing rail splitter build. So with no further ado, let's get into it. For specialization, I'm using Firewall, because the reasons, brother, it's still overpowered in conflict. Flamethrower basically will one-shot people left, right and center, since fire status effect is by far one of the nastiest in the game, and striker shield will boost your damage, but brother, since we have 1.5 million armor, firewall specialization medkit will do wonders for us. It works so damn good with huge amount of armor, because basically you have for 10 seconds ridiculous armor regen. For my main gun, I'm using the rail splitter name and assault rifle. Best ranged weapon in the game, at least in my opinion, since now you don't have to invest anything in weapon handling attributes, as well you don't have to apply any attachments whatsoever to increase accuracy or stability on this gun. It has everything you need in PvP and the RPM is basically the same as FAMAS and FAMAS right now is the best assault rifle in the game but this accuracy is super handy brother same RPM unfortunately it loses a little bit at the damage base damage value but rather accuracy can basically give you that boost or uh, necessary DPS for PvP if you're gonna make your shots and like I told you before on consoles, this is pretty dope, that the game over. For my second gun, I'm using FAMAS with Insane, for Pistol, Orbit with Perfect Finisher, for Mask, I'm running Cheshka, since we need that crew chance, because my little dirty secret in this build is Tardigrade Exotic Chess Piece, and my teammates basically will get bonus armor, and if they run Intimidate Talent, it'll, it will basically activate Intimidate Talent for them as well. And I, I'm running my set with 1.5 million armor, but with some little tweaks I could get 1.8 mil armor easily, but I feel I would lag DPS and I love to kill everybody as well. So this is sweet spot in my opinion, 1.5 million are the great chess piece. It's for team play. This build is perfect for team play. On backpack, I'm running companion. I'm using Fenris backpack to boost assault rifle damage. Companion is really dope, but if you're a solo player and or maybe play on PC, I would recommend you to go with Vigilance. It's really dope for ranged fights or maybe flanking opportunities. Vigilance is decent, but I feel right now in PvP with all those skills, it's not that active. From other hand, companion will be non-stop for me, active with my seeker mind, and if I will be near my teammates, skill stinger hives or teammates themselves. So companion is really really handy talent actually. And Tardigrade chess piece is like unbreakable, not only for you but for your teammates. Pretty dope synergy for holster. I'm using sombra for crit damage, for gloves running. Contractor's Gloves with damage to armor attribute for knee pads, Fox Press knee pads, name and version for damage auto cover. These are the best DPS pieces in the game right now. But with some little tweaks, or I will or I shall say butcher magic, I will show you solo build. So this one was team built, perfect team built with Tardigrade chess piece. If you play in solo, I would recommend you to stick with this setup. Use Rail Splitter with Exotic Coyote Mask. It will give you crit damage boost in close range, really dope. In further distances, you will receive crit chance and crit damage or crit chance. So anyway, the best mask in slot for DPS. For chess piece, use Unbreakable, in this case Fenris. Cheshka holster for crit chance, the same knees, the same gloves, and on backpack you should use Vigilance. That would be perfect solo build in my eyes, but I think there is nothing new. I think already you know about the Synergy Vigilance, Unbreakable and Coyote Mask, it's kinda old, but hey, if you're a new player and if you're a lone wolf, do that combo or do that build. If you're playing team, Brother, 
tardigrade exotic chess piece with companion will surprise you and uh, it's super dope since companion works non-stop you have to throw you a seeker and it will follow you all over the place and you can get damage boost on any range companion is not limited by range so if you have the seeker mind on your side you will have the damage boost and you can nail your headshots now with rail splitter and companion boost super dope and even though if you will receive some kind of damage from distance it will not be any way affected like vigilance for example your damage output will not be affected by incoming damage in that case pretty dope synergy in my opinion so thank you for watching and see you in the next one